Hello guys, I'm here for another update of my Tulsa Welding School down here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Yeah, my hair's a little screwed up. Oh well. This, uh, this week we've been doing a uh, stick. We're back to stick welding this week. I thought we'd be on pipe, but we're not. We're uh, actually doing a, a 2G stick test right now with uh, two plates, half inch bevels with a uh, one eighth gap. And we're, uh, filling the we're using 6010 rod to fill the gap and then we switch over to 7018 5 rod to run the hot pass and we switch over to 7018 uh, 1 rod to finish up the rest of it um, when it comes to the really you've already done the 7018 rod by now you've done it in uh, phase two uh really well yeah you've done it in phase two part of phase one two you'll do uh we're doing it uh also uh what are we doing it horizontal so you know this way so if we're doing that well you've already done some like the cap when it comes to the cap and filling it up with the 7018 rod You've already done that, so that part should come easy. It's uh, the gap that that you're running with the 6010 rod. It's a little bit more harder. It's kind of, it's like it is kind of a pain, but most people in my class are getting it, and you know, so am I. So we're not. It's not that hard to learn. Most of the kids in my class are getting it. Maybe if you struggle a little bit more with stick, but by the time you get to this phase four you should already be at least decent enough to be able to kind of understand what's going on here and let's see this week we got a new instructor he's pretty cool he actually uh, talks to us in class and actually goes through the questions and book work and everything so he's probably the best instructor I've had so far he's old he's been at the school for 17 years he's been welding so he's pretty he's pretty good I, I do enjoy him and let's think here. Uh, well, like, I got a. Actually, I haven't got my grade for last semester yet. I'll do my. Oh, and this term, term four, we have to do 150 question uh, tests into this uh, phase. So I gotta start studying for that. I mean, 150 question test. I mean, they give you like. like uh, Oh, well, maybe I do. Hang on one second. Actually, I'm not going to look for it. They give you uh, stuff like uh, something you can look into. That will give you like a study guide, I guess is the correct word. Yeah, it'll give you a study guide to look at while you're to kind of get you ready for this test. So that's a plus side. What I am kind of starting to realize this school that. If you come to this school and you're going to be a welder, you just come for the professional welding program. What I've been hearing so far is that if you just come for the professional welding program, it is not worth it. You need to come for at least the pipe fitting with that or the AOS program. AWS program. I plan on doing both while I'm down here. So I'll give you guys up. So this video series is pretty long, especially me doing videos every week. This week has been kind of a little more difficult for me than yeah, it was really Thursday. Thursday night, I got fired from my job for missing a day. So that part sucks. I already got interviews set up. For, I, I've never had problems finding jobs before, so I'm not too worried about it. Like I already have interviews set up for Monday. Just. This kind of sucks, you know, kind of threw me in an off mood. I didn't take my weld test this week. I'm going to take it on Monday because I, I just wasn't, I didn't go to school Friday because I, my girlfriend locked me out of my apartment on accident. So I was, I couldn't get back into my apartment until 6 o'clock in the morning. And I was out there from, got home at 2.15. So, you know, out there for a few hours. I just did not feel like going to school. I knew I couldn't pass the test with a really good grade because I just wasn't, all air so I'm kind of glad you know I didn't so I guess it worked out we'll see when it comes Monday when I actually take my test next week I'll have to take two tests because 
I mean, miss, I'll get, I don't know, we'll see. So, that's how my Tulsa Wellness School Adventures are going so far this week. And if you guys have any questions, comments, anything you'd like to know that you'd like me to find out, if I can't, if I don't know, I will find out for you. And I'm going to keep on making these videos until the school's done with, and I'm done with the school, so I can make, you know, you guys understand what you're getting into, and how this is all going to pan out. I mean, I get done with all this video series, I'll do, you know, a complete overall what I thought about the whole school, and let you guys know. And I'll continue after school, and we'll see, you know, what kind of jobs I can get, and where it takes me from there. So if you guys want to like and subscribe, go right ahead. And if you guys have any questions for me or anything like that, just leave them in the comments below, and I'll get right back to them. You guys have a good one.